I'm Jock Harris, and I run High Country Logging in Tumut, New South Wales, Australia. We carry out every silvicultural treatment now that um, pine plantations are usually subjected to from first thinnings. We do first thinnings for Vizzy, pulp and paper, um, 100,000 tonnes a year with the two harvesters and two forwarders. Uh, we do second thinnings for state forests and other private plantation owners and through to early clear fall and mature clear fall for state forests and others using a variety of tiger cats. My history with tiger cats started when they were first introduced to Australia in the late 90s. I was working for a logging company that ran all the other well-established brands back then and that company introduced tiger cats to the fleet and um, they were such an improvement in terms of ergonomics for operators and design and uh, quality of build that it was a pretty obvious choice when, when I started up. Well, we started up in 2006. My fleet, we've got an old 822, two new 822Cs, a brand new 822D, two 830s, an 855, a 1065 forwarder, three or four 1075s, and two of the latest 1075Cs. Productivity has definitely gone up with the last two machines, the 855 and the 1075. Just with the Tiger Cat crane, it's unbelievable what it'll lift. It's probably the biggest step change in production. Definitely a noticeable difference in the bush and on the dump with loading trucks. They've always been pretty good to work on, service. The access appears to be designed with maintenance and operating in mind because they were sort of designed from the ground up rather than an evolution of an old design. A good logging company can have good machines and good contracts and good mechanical backup or whatever but it all boils down to the blokes really and we're lucky enough to have probably, as far as I'm concerned, the best team of blokes in the region. The operators love the Tiger Cats. These latest versions are both the forwarders and the harvesters. It's almost like driving a car. So The harvester operators would probably quit if we bought anything else. They do a lot of research and development. They're always listening to contractors and contractors operators and, and that feedback, you can see that every time they bring out a new model or an updated version, you can, you can see that they've been listening rather than just changing the colour of the paint. I've, I'd never seen a factory rep till we started getting tiger cats. They seem to have making machines down to an art almost, so a pretty easy choice to make, I reckon.